All right, well, I'm heading into downtown Oklahoma City now. And the first thing that strikes you is that building right there. Uh, in the middle, well, almost in the middle of the frame, to the right. That's the Devon Tower. It's a newer building in uh, Oklahoma City. And it's just always seemed so odd to me that it was built because it is so much taller than any other building in Oklahoma City. It, uh, I don't know. The sense of balance is off. Is that how I should put it? Anyway, it, it is a beautiful building though, and I'm gonna get up closer and take a look at it. All right, well, I'm heading into downtown now. And, you know, it's pretty nice. A mix of old and new buildings. Got a machine in front of us. This guy uh, looks like a street cleaner of some sort. Not sure what that is there, but yeah, it's really nice down here. I'm gonna try to find a place to park and take a look, if possible. Woo. Yeah, it's almost 900 feet tall. That's a really tall building. All right, I'm heading back into town. I still haven't found parking, but there are numerous things to see in downtown Oklahoma City that I'm gonna get the wife for. Of course, the memorial to the Oklahoma City bombing. Gotta bring my wife for that because she loves stories of death and mayhem. I don't know why she's so fascinated by it. But she wants to see that, so we will be uh, we will be going to that later. And of course, we're going to visit the state capitol because we visit every state capitol of every state. That's our plan. So we'll be going to that later. Something that I have noticed as I walk through downtown there, well, right there to my left is a ice skating rink. But anyway, of course this. <laughs> Again, this huge building shadowing over everything. But the second tallest building is this one here. And it is clearly in disrepair. Uh, broken glass. I'm gonna guess that that building's empty. And that's, yeah, that's a bad look. That is a seriously big chunk of real estate, it looks like. That's kind of a blight on the city. You can't miss it. You can't miss all the broken out windows on it. So you wonder why the city doesn't do anything about it. And as you can see, as I'm walking through here, it is really nice right here. A little bit quiet down here. But I'm gonna go deeper in and see what I can see. Yeah, look at that, that's pretty interesting sight. Rising above these two buildings. And then I'm gonna go over to this building and see if it's boarded up. Hmm, some interesting art here in the street. No exp explanation as to what it is. But it's pretty cool looking. All right, I'm gonna head this way. Well, I'm over here now. And yeah, there's a lot of scaffolding on the building. You can see it on the other side here and at the bottom here. So it looks like they're rebuilding this, which is good news because this is a big old building and a you hate to see it mar up the skyline. A Hilton Hotel right here in downtown. And uh, it's pretty beautiful. Pretty sure we couldn't afford it. It's on the uh, register for historic buildings. So uh, in the United States. So it's a classic old building. It's been well maintenanced. It's got this interesting statue in the front of it of a Native American, of course. 
Oklahoma used to be Indian territory. Not a lot of folks walking around. It's a Tuesday, about two in the afternoon. And it's a little bit quiet. Now Oklahoma is the Sooner State, and it's called that because I guess around 1900, the state was opened up for anybody who wanted to live here, and you basically ran across the border and plots of land were already set aside. You grabbed a stake. I think that's what he's doing, is he's claiming this little plot of land, and that land was yours. And it's called the Sooner State because some people snuck in before the time that you could cross into Oklahoma and grab that land and they were called Sooners. Really they should be called cheaters because that's what they are but I believe that is what this statue signifies. Well these are some really big rocks just perched here in the downtown area. I'm not gonna lie, there's no sign. I'm not sure what it means. All right, so I am back at the Bronco. Look at that poor thing. It's, bought it three months ago. It's already got 11,000 miles on it. <laughs> but it's been a good truck for this trip. Really perfect. But anyway, the wife is texting me. She wants me to come pick her up, so we're gonna or I'm gonna go get her and come back down here and we're going to check out the Oklahoma City bombing site, the state capitol, and then have a little Jack Daniels in Bricktown, which is their version of the Riverwalk in San Antonio. All right, we are at the state capitol of Oklahoma. It's a beautiful, majestic building. I'm impressed. Yeah? Um, She's looking at pictures of us. I mean, the pictures are kind of bad because the sun's in my eyes. Anyway, uh, famously on the grounds of the Oklahoma Capitol is a oil rig. And I believe that it used to work. Obviously, it doesn't work anymore. It's capped off. But it signified the oil boom that was in Oklahoma at one time. It's been a long time since I've been here. This wasn't here, I don't think, or this wasn't up here. There's a Native American on top of it, statue of it, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. Huh? It's hard to tell, he's so far away. Yeah, he's a... How tall is this building? I don't know, but that's a noble, a noble Native American warrior, spear in hand. Why didn't they make him bigger? He, he, he's he pretty big, looked, he's just way up there. He would have looked nobler. <laughs> Now they're doing some work here, but one of the statues that jumps out is this Native American squaw. The mother of this land, so to speak. Am I right? Absolutely. Now she's cool looking. I can see her. I'm trying to go in. We're not going to be allowed to go in the big grand front doors. They probably never let you go in that way. I person. know. We always have to go into these side entrances. Boo! Like we're the help. Yeah. That's right. We're the help. Well, we're wandering around the halls. There's no signs to tell us where to go. So we can see the dome and we can get her passport, her Capitol building passport stamped. Well, I have to go over there and check that out in a minute. This is directly below the rotunda, the seal of Oklahoma. It became a state in 1907. Oh. Wow, I just looked up. Woohoo! That's pretty. Yeah, so there's yeah, there's the rotunda. Awesome. Yeah? Yeah, it's really pretty. Let's go check out this. Oh there he is, right there. That's what I just said. It's right there. They have a replica of the Native American that's on top of the Capitol building. A seven foot replica of the guy on top of the rotunda, right? The dome. He's seven foot tall. The one on outside at the top, he's 21 feet tall. So this is the second floor. I guess I could do it on the way out. Yeah. See up into the rotunda again. 
Yeah, we're gonna get up there. All right, we're wandering around the hall. Here's the office of the governor. Hmm. Visit us, visit us online. They probably won't let us come in and visit you though. Say, I guess that means we can't visit in person. Huh? I'm gonna say, I guess that means you can't visit in person. Yeah, get out. Now we're walking up these stairs. Beautiful marble. I know, it's like full on marble. And the handrail too. Woo! High class. All right, so this is the fourth floor. This is where all the cool stuff is. Am I right? That's when you stand, that's when you set. Oh. So here's the grand stairway coming into the building. Look at that painting. Ooh. We'll get closer to that in a minute. Wow. I don't know if the camera catches this, but this is grand. Very grand. These paintings are something else. We'll zoom in. Get closer looks at them all. Another painting. Native American scene. Yeah, that's another cool painting. The uh, it's a train coming into town. I'm in one of the hallways and looking at the stained glass, the detail. It's beautiful. That's the front doors, and above that is this painting. Painted right after World War I, right? In 1928. Dedicated for Armistice Day. Yeah, dedicated for Armistice Day. It's a picture of an Oklahoma soldier heading off to war. And what's that, an angel? Looking out over him? Yes. Amazing. All right, so we're leaving the uh, Oklahoma City Capitol. What do you think? What I think? I thought the building was beautiful. Very beautiful. I loved yeah, all the murals inside, especially the one with the five ballerinas. Yeah, the building was beautiful, and all the marble on the floor and the handrails. Yeah, it's one of the most beautiful Capitol buildings we've been in, easily. Yeah. Very grand. Yeah. All right, so we're going to head to... Uh, the memorial for the Oklahoma City bombing. We're approaching the site where Timothy McVeigh bombed the Alfred what? P. Murrow building. Alfred P. Murrow building, yeah. yeah. It's a federal building. A lot of a lot of federal entities were in the building. That's the that's why he picked it, because that's what he wanted. It was railing against the federal government. And um, yeah, it killed 168 people, including children. It happened on what it was like April 19th 1995 and you picked that date April 19th because it was the it was the anniversary I think the two-year anniversary of the siege at Waco yeah yeah the siege at Waco they, they put his ass to <laughs> they put his ass to death thank goodness yeah well, Terry Nichols is still in like a supermax he's doing I think he's doing life without parole and yeah which supermax did you say he was in I, I want to say he's in the one in Colorado but yeah one of the worst events in our history. I remember when it happened in 1995. I remember that footage. I've seen it so many times, especially with the kids. You see the parents holding their kids because there was a daycare. Like the bomb was set off like really close to the daycare. It was set off underneath the daycare, wasn't it? I think so. I think yeah. they tried to claim that they didn't know there was a daycare in the building, but nobody seemed to believe that. They thought because they cased the building many times, they, they should have known. Oh, wow. Yeah, Yeah, they didn't care that they killed children. Oh, we should have brought something. Yeah, we should have got something. Why didn't we? I didn't know this. I've this. never seen this before. I didn't know we could. Yeah, so this is uh, along a fence right outside the memorial. Yeah, my family, er, my family lives in Oklahoma City. And that's actually coming up here back and forth for some reason. I can't remember why. Honestly, I think I was dating a girl up here. <laughs> <laughs> and she was actually in Oklahoma or in Dallas with me at the time when this happened. She had to call. She said her mother, who lives in, here in Oklahoma City, several miles away, felt the, uh, the ground the shake. Tremor? Oh, wow. Yeah, when the bomb went off. That's how massive it was. Oh, but this is pretty awesome that they, even this many far, or this many years later, they have all this. I wish we had brought something. I yeah. Something up. Would have if we had known, huh? Yeah. All these. See, I've read about the memorial, but all I knew about was the, they have the 168 empty seats. 
Yeah. For the number of people that died. Interesting. And it's not just the people that died. I think it was more than like close to 700 people were injured. Oh yeah, I'm sure a lot of people were injured. Oh, the building collapsed. So let's see. Where is the entrance to this thing? Is this it? Yeah. What is it? It's a bunch of chairs, right? Yes. Uh, like 168 chairs? Uh -huh. Empty chairs to, yeah. to represent the people that died. You can tell there's a church. You can hear it now from the other end. Yeah. I wonder what they do on the actual anniversary. Oh yeah, it has the reflection pool. In the reflection pool? Yeah, you see some of the chairs right there. Okay, anyway, we're going to go out. Huh? Christmas wreaths on them. This what? Oh yeah, that's Christmas trees on them. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, yeah. So this is the memorial, and I think the building sat over here, or did it set here? I'm, I'm not sure. This is my first time here. I, just I have to look that up. But yeah, all these chairs is for each are for each person who died when that bomb went off. Yeah, I know, like some of the status footage that I saw, especially there's one man holding his kid, like, looked like he was like 18 months old, yeah. in his hands, and he's trying to give her, he's trying to get medical help for him, but I think that the child was already dead. It's like really sad. Yeah, and now McVeigh, of course, has already been executed, and he got executed pretty quick, huh? Yeah, I think he just waved. Because he wanted it. Most of his appeals, he was ready to be put to death, and everybody uh, was like, you know, say la vie, you don't need to be if that's what he wanted, that's not what should he got. Smaller, they must be for the kids, see? I'd almost rather he stay in some tiny little cell for 30 years. Some of the seats are smaller. They must oh, yeah. be for the kids. The real small ones are for the little kids, huh? The babies? Seems. That were in the daycare? Sense. That's pretty nifty. Yeah, but I, I mean, I read a couple of books about it, and I read that Terry Nichols wanted to back out. That, um, Terry Nichols wanted to back out. He's the one still in prison, right? Yeah, but Timothy McVeigh was kind of blackmailing him into it. However, I have no respect at all for Terry Nichols because he could have gone to he could have gone to anybody, you know, any kind of police authority or FBI or something, and he could have stopped it. Yeah, he should have backed out. I guess he just uh, I don't know. Especially when you're killing children. Yeah. That's uncool. So. He probably could have gotten like a really sweet deal too if he'd went and informed on McVeigh. Yeah. I like, the, I like the reflecting pool. It's pretty. The reflecting pool is pretty, yeah. It's really shallow, huh? Well, really awesome. A, a nice. place of history. This is nice. I've always wanted to see it. Oh, 9.01. That must be when it happened, huh? Yeah, 9.01 a.m. Well, obviously. <laughs> yeah, we always go to these historical places that... Uh, happen because you know that are death related <laughs> my wife that's what she likes <laughs> okay so we've just looked it up yeah the chairs this field that the chairs are on that is this is where the building stood well it's really well done isn't it that says 903 so that must be the minute after huh. the 901 is for the minute before the bomb went off Oh, and then oh, okay. and then 9:02 it went off, and then I guess 9:03 is oh, okay. when everybody or I was, I a lot of these people I was just passed away. It went off at 9:01. I didn't see the 9. No, it went off at 9:02. Said. Oh. Huh. So it's like one minute in history, and look what happened. Yep. Yeah. So this was a street, or this is the street that ran in front of the Murrah Building, isn't it? Yes, and because the building is where the empty chairs are. Yeah, so it is just, the street has been covered over and it's now this reflecting pool. Hmm. All right, so this, this is across the street from the memorial. There it is right there. The memorial to the victims of the Oklahoma City bombing. And Jesus wept. What is it? And they have this. I'm not sure what that means, but yeah, it says, and Jesus wept. So there it is. Yeah, I'm not sure what the, the black pillars mean. Yeah, I'm a little confused by that. Huh. All right, we are in Bricktown area of Oklahoma City. 
Um, Bricktown is uh, basically someone in Oklahoma a little over 20 years ago said, hey, or they went to uh, San Antonio, right? Yeah. And they said, hey, that's really cool. Let's build it in Oklahoma City. And that's what they did. It's a canal that goes through the city here, just like in San Antonio. Not as big, not as cool, but it's pretty nifty. I remember coming here 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, 21 years ago, and they had just built this canal, and none of the restaurants and bars around here had been built yet. So in San Antonio, it's an actual river that just kind of winds into the downtown area. But here, it just, their river walk starts right here. That's the beginning. And goes that way, and this way. And you can see the river boats tied up along the water here. Of course, what's today? On t Tuesday? Tuesday. Yeah, it's a Tuesday at 3.30 in the afternoon, so not a lot of activity happening right now. But this probably looks quite awesome at night. What do you think? I'm sure it does. I see some ducks. <laughs> that gives it legitimacy. <laughs> if it has ducks, it's the real deal. Am I right? Am I right or no? Huh? You're right, absolutely. Look, there it is. Oh, those ducks are getting in a fight. Look at that. They're probably fighting over a girl duck. You think? Yeah, that one's getting run off. They're fighting over a girl duck. <laughs> We've reached one end of it. That's really cool. <laughs> Native American Indians pouring water out. It is cool looking. Oh, did you say it isn't? I said, it is, I said it's kind of cool looking. Kind of? It's really cool looking. Yeah, what are you talking about? Pour in the water. Yeah, the pour in the water. And the waterfalls here. Huh. Yeah, it's much smaller than San Antonio's. That's for sure. And it's very quiet right now. I would imagine in the summer it gets a lot busier. Well, I looked it up. A lot of these businesses are still closed because of... What else? COVID. COVID. The killer of business. So that's why it's very quiet down here. It hasn't recovered from COVID. That's too bad because this area is really nice. But I'm kind of astonished at seeing the emptiness. I mean, that's completely empty there, isn't it? That doesn't look like there's any business happening at all. Same with this place. Like, it's three stories. Looks like it was a huge bar and restaurant, but it's empty now. The decay of civilization, if you will, due to COVID. Hmm. Eerie, huh? Got some boats still parked here. Nobody's going for a ride. Here's yet another place. Empty. Hmm. I don't want to say. I was kind of excited to come down here and hang out. Yeah. There's nobody open. What the hell? It's gonna get worse. The new strain. Yeah, with the new strain, it's just gonna get worse. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. That's why it's panting like that. Here's a place that looks open Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street Cafe. Must be the only place open. There's nobody there, though. It's got bourbon in the title. We got a pirate here. But tipsy ticky, nothing happening. Looks closed. Huh. Well, they open at four. Oh, they open at four? That's like 10 minutes from now. It's like eight minutes from now. 
eight minutes from now. There you go. Well, the ducks are busy. Hmm. The ducks are living the good life. Do you think there's a penthouse on the roof? Huh? <laughs> Do you think These they ducks? A on the roof? Like in Memphis? No. Yeah. I think that's the duck that got ran off earlier. He was trying to have his way with the other women ducks. What do you think? Actually, it looks like a female duck. How do you tell? Because they're, they're ugly. Shut up. Yeah, they don't have the beautiful plumage like the males do. I thought that was just a peacock. No, it's pretty much the whole animal kingdom. No, oh, yeah, the women are ugly and the males are beautiful. That's not true. Only humans is it the opposite. That's not true. I want to ride on that. <laughs> there in the distance, like that building smell. there. Can you smell it? Yeah, you can smell it. That is Sonic's world headquarters, or national headquarters. Are there Sonic's outside of the U.S.? Anyway, yeah, that's where Sonic is. Uh, that's their headquarters. Across the street from this baseball park. All right, so we found a place, Crab Town. It's got a happy hour. Right here on the edge of Bricktown. So let's go in, huh? We haven't had any turkey at all this year. No turkey. No turkey for you. I want Cajun fried turkey. I want Cajun fried turkey also. You're not arguing. I'm not. You're not gonna ar get any argument from me. Good. Right. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. So we're looking at the menu. A lot of Everything good Cajun. Everything sounds good. Mm -hmm. I want Creole stuffed tilapia. I want jambalaya, my favorite. Lots I of good want, Cajun food. I want crab crusted salmon. Yes. And of course, Jack Daniels, but not for me. I'm drinking a margarita. A girly blue margarita. Yes. At least it didn't, come, only, at least it didn't come in some like, fancy girly glass. It's only five bucks though. No. All right, so our appetizer is here. here we go. Cajun tater tots. Stuff with andouille sausage, cheddar yeah. cheese, and jalapenos, and it's topped with uh, house-made creamy gravy and scallions. Yeah, if you didn't hear, these are stuffed with sausage, jalapenos, Cajun sausage, cheddar cheese, jalapenos, with gravy on top, and some an onion. Admit it, those look good. Oh, they do look good. You're going to want some of these. <laughs> All right, our time in Oklahoma City is done. Time to review the hotel. We stayed at a Best Western Plus, up kind of north of downtown. What do you think? Wow, pretty pretty positive, especially for the price. The price was great. Mm -hmm. uh, the room's nice and clean and modern. It's kind of set up the way we like it. Um, one small negative, the, the uh, water pressure on that shower head sucked, but that was a very small negative. The breakfast was really good, and I was mm. pleasantly surprised by that. Um, and uh, the gym was sufficient. It was just a small size. But, but it had everything you needed, right? It did. It's just okay. a small size. Had somebody else walked in, I probably would have left because it would have been kind of claustrophobic. Okay. But since nobody else walked in, that, it was fine. So, no, pretty positive. Mostly po positive, especially for the price. It's a good, good price. Yeah, it's a good hotel. It was clean, uh, modern. Uh, Jim, well, like she says, not big, had everything we needed, has a heated indoor swimming pool, mm -hmm. uh, good Wi-Fi, and the breakfast was phenomenal. I mean, it had really good. fresh scrambled eggs, it had real hash browns, bacon, and sausage, and biscuits, and gravy, plus cereal, and all that other kind and of stuff. And waffles, and yeah. yeah, all that stuff. I was surprised at the you know. Me too. I thought we were going to get another one of these like microwave egg things nope. and I'd be like. This place. Really, does, really good breakfast. Does all that exceptionally. Yes. Overall, really nice place. Highly recommend for here in Oklahoma City. What's your uh, rating? I'm going to give it like a 4.5. Yeah, I'm going to give it a 4 point. Shit, I'm going to go higher than her. 4.6. So. Really good. All right. So that's it. We are heading to Dallas next for Christmas. See you then. Bye.